What's good, y'all? Welcome to a brand new chapter reaction. This time, be once again back with Chojin X, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as you guys know, can probably as you guys probably noticed the release gap between the last chapter and this chapter was a lot smaller than what the first chapter was. The second chapter, which I think was like maybe over a month, a little over a month, I think was what was the gap uh, between chapters. This one was a lot shorter, but I think that's also because. This one is only 36, about 36 pages. Weird thing, though, is this chapter did not drop the same time in Japan as it did in the States. Because, as you guys know, I, of course, follow Ashida on Twitter. And I noticed from him that the chapter dropped sometime, I believe, yesterday, Japanese only. For some reason, the translation was taking longer than usual to actually come out for us here in America and English-speaking countries on Manga Plus. Don't know what the holdup was. Don't know if there was some phrasing or something or struggle. Maybe it was something to do with the translator. Maybe it was some other things. I don't know why the translation. I mean, it didn't take too much. Like I said, it came out like the next day for us here. You know, for it to come out the next day in English. But don't know why there was a delay in the translation. Don't know what that was about. Um, so, yeah. But regardless of such, guys, we got the chapter. So, let's jump right in. So, we starting off. You got, um, uh, fuck, I forget the MC's names. Uh, Gotta keep holding up Hide. I'll just stick to that until I remember their fucking names. <laughs> so yeah, he's holding his boy up. Yep, he got that bird beak all right. Azuma. Hospital. Azuma. Yep, and he falls. Tokyo? Tokyo? To <laughs> to yeah, Tokyo. I think I say it. Tokyo? Oh, Tokyo? I feel like I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> but, nah. To you? Yep. <laughs> Imagine waking up to this, man. That's fucking horrifying, man. This dude legit looks like a bird, like a vulture or whatever. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure it's actually like legit like a vulture's like skull or something. Azuma, thank goodness you're awake. What happened to that? What happened to that guy? Who? Oh, you mean that long neck to Chojin? I dealt with him somehow. Don't remember though. I suddenly felt powered up. I guess it was thanks to whatever was in that syringe. More importantly, Azuma, are you okay? <laughs> Fam, I think we're more concerned if you're okay, look, given the fact you now look like a bird. You're hurt, and maybe you, maybe, and maybe the the shot of a and maybe the shot affected you too. You need to get checked out at the hospital. I'll get, I'll get, I'll go to the hospital by myself. What? It, it's okay. It's okay. I can lend. I can lend. I can lend you a shoulder. We're twenty. We're a twenty. It's we're a twenty-minute walk from the hospital. You're all banged up, and you're all banged up. I can make myself useful occasionally too, Tokyo. Are you going to go to the hospital with your face looking like that? If people see you, word will word will get out that you're a chojin, and a drug from and a drug from who knows where turns you into one. The wrong person might start digging into that. I'll go to the hospital on my own. You should go home and get checked out. And if, if anyone finds out you're a Trojan, you'll never be able to go back to your old life. You're not ready for that, right? If you aren't, you need to hide that. You need to hide that you're a Trojan. Until you can control your own body, you can't go outside. Yeah, man. So I guess that brings us to where we were in the last chapter, where he was in the shower. Yeah, man. So, my man. So this man is basically left on like basically house arrest. <laughs> Our boy is left on house arrest, or he has become a shut-in. Whichever phrasing, whichever word you uh, you want to say. The other way, this man is stuck at home, just like all of us. <laughs> anyway, Tokyo, eat your breakfast. I'm going to work now. See you later. Hope you have a good day. Pitter. What's that say? Pitter patter? What the hell does that say? What was what was that? What was that about? You better not be late. So he's still a bird. Huh. So that's how I guess I had to open his mouth. Interesting. Yes, I still guess I can still get hungry even when I'm like this. <sighs> this is tough. Cock school! I spent a whole 30 minutes eating pancakes! Wait, until you can control your body, you can't go outside. 
Hello, this is Kurum Kurohara from Year Two, Class C. Uh, may I speak with Mrs. May I speak May I speak to Miss Azaka? Az Anza An Anza Anza? I think I say that. Oh, Miss Anza, sorry, I have a he I have a fever, a hundred, a hundred and two degrees. I was wondering if I if if I could have today off. Huh? Huh? My family? <laughs> No, they're already left for work. The fever came on really sudden. I'm sorry. Okay. With a maid of fever that high, no one should suspect a thing for two to three days. Dad leaves early in the mornings. If I make sure, to, if I make sure to time things to avoid my sister, I should be good. The issue is what comes after that, since I probably can't keep this up my whole life. My whole life. Am I going to be like this my whole life? No, 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 no! <laughs> uh, uh, I need to get my mind off this for a while. It's too scary. I wonder if Ozma made it to school. He's not picking up. Did he even go to school? It was pretty badly hurt. How 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 to go at the hospital? I faked being sick and brought and bought myself three days. What about you? This phone. Okay, that look at. Can we just talk about the man's phone real quick? This phone is like ultra thin. Like it just feels like it's a glass sleeve. Like like a piece of glass or something. How thin it is. Like look at like like that is a thin ass phone. I mean. Welcome to the digital age, I guess. Where thinner is better, apparently. Everyone wants their phones thinner and thinner and thinner. And I'm like, eh, hey, I'd like a meteor phone. I don't mind a phone with some thickness. I don't need everything. I don't need all everything to be the, like the thickness of a pencil or whatever. Anyway, people see you. Words will get out that you're a Trojan and a drug from who knows where turns you into this. The wrong person might start digging into that. If Ozima has turned into a Trojan too. If he doesn't re if he doesn't replay if he doesn't if he doesn't reply by tonight, I guess I'll have to go to his house. I'm popping over to the convenience store. You know what? That's actually not a horrible disguise. He got like a jacket on, mask, like a, I guess it has like the thing as like a I don't know what the hell that thing is, what you call that that basically covers his mouth. Tokyo? Hmm? What? Could you buy me some soba? Yo Yota Yota C Yo, Yotosuya um, Cinder? Did you say that? Yeah. And a small card of milk? Uh, okay. What about you, Dad? Uh, Carnito Sweets. Oh, he has, oh, he has like a belt over his, over like the beak. I guess I explain. I guess, okay. If that works. As his heart is probably beating out of his fucking chest right now. If anyone finds out you're a children, you'll never be able to go to your old life. Gotta, gotta keep this. Gotta keep, gotta keep this firmly in place. Milk and sweets, milk and sweets. It's only been one day. Of course, I'm going to be worried. The whole situation is worrying. All right, made it to Ozma's house. There aren't any lights on. A light. See, has he been? Has, he has to be okay, right? A light. Is he in his room? Hello? Asuma, it's me. I'm in front of your house right now. You, n you never replied, so I thought something might have happened to you. Asuma? Sorry for not replying. I've been thinking about what to do now, but I just can't figure it out. They, th they treated me at the hospital and gave me a quick blood test. There wasn't anything out of the ordinary. There wasn't. That's good. What about you? I'm the same. I look like a bird. Oh. But I made sure to hide my face on the way here, and I took and I took time off school. So a vulture then? Huh? This is just a guess, but I think children turn you turn. I think children turn into the form they most desire. And that's that's what I thought. That's what I thought after seeing you. The form I desire? I guess it's a special memory for me, but... Right. Right now, I... 
Just want to go back to my normal self. So what do I? What, so what should I do? I think really hard about think think really hard about think really hard about wanting to change back until I do. I hope it works itself out eventually. Maybe food has something to do with it too. Today sure was tough. For once, think for yourself for once. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry. I I'm so on edge. I really was worried about you, Ozma, but I think I was expecting you to tell me what to do. It's just like you say. I'm pathetic. Sorry. I'll talk to you later. I'm glad you're okay, Oz. Glad you're okay, Ozma. Tokyo! Damn, he left quick. <laughs> God damn, that man's fast. Sorry, Tokyo. It's not your fault. You, like, like I said, the drugs, the drugs, all gone. Mr. Johnny Taki Takayama. I inquire as to who used the other two syringes. You received three. You received three, correct? Tell me. Tell me, or I will chop you into pieces. They were kids. Both of them were high school brats, and one of them turned into a children. Oh, what type of children? I don't know. It happened so fast. But he—he he was some some kind of monster. He had like this. He he had this like mask or like huge breaking heard you or huge breaking th break beak thing do you know his name i ain't talking after seeing your eyes after seeing your eyes behind that mask i get it you're offering me no matter what i do you're offering me no matter what i do nah to you i'm already dead my two lads i killed them with my own hands i don't want to sink any lower than i already have do whatever you want to me. <clears throat> Decapitation. Brilliant. So, beak and a mask, you say. <laughs> Next chapter coming soon. Alright. That was fucking awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Another fantastic chapter, once again, from the goat, Sui Shida, man. <sighs> Fantastic. The yard once again is fantastic, man. And loving the story. You can definitely, we can, I'm sure we all can see the Hide Kaneki parallels between these two, Tokyo and Asuma. I'm sure we all can see the, the Kaneki, you know, Hide parallels, definitely. It's obviously there. You can see it. You can see it. But yeah, man, this was a phenomenal chapter, guys. And super excited for the next one ever that comes out. I wonder if they're all going to, wonder now if they're all going to be like around 30-ish pages or they're probably, or it's going to be like flip-flopping constantly between the pages. Like sometimes we'll get 30 pages, sometimes we'll get 70 pages, 50, 60, maybe a 90-page chapter or some shit. I don't know, man, but either way, man, this chapter, once again, was fucking legendary. And the artwork, once again, god tier from Ishida. I wouldn't say it's as god tier as this last chapter was, but this was, once again, phenomenal art, once again, from Ishida. Anyway, guys, that's where we're getting this video off. Overall, we give this chapter a 10 out of fucking 10, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I'm really good in the relationship, man. I'm really going to see what's going to happen with Tokyo. If he's ever here, how do I transform back to him, man? The Kaneki vibes from him, you can definitely see, man. There's a lot of Kaneki in this kid. Which, you know. Ah, oh, so good. So good. Anyway, guys, enough of me gawking into this artwork. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like, if you did, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you like it. Links in the description box below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.